With spring right around the corner, doesn't necessarily feel like it, not at all, but not we know yet. that it is, right? <laughs> the uh, concern of flooding is going up. That's why Governor Gary Herbert has declared March as Flood Safety Awareness Month. We're hearing many Utahns are not prepared or protected at this point. ABC4's Jason Nguyen explains why the state says Utahns need flood insurance. Emergency management officials say 70% of Utah's recent floods have happened outside the designated flooded areas. Good news, Utah. Our snowpack and water levels look great. Here we also have the potential for damage due to high flows. Uh, this spring if we have uh, continued storminess all the way through. That wet weather brings a bigger concern this spring, flooding, much like what we're seeing down in Washington County. It is up to the homeowner to take care of themselves and take care of their homes. Utah officials say 97% of Utahns don't have proper flood coverage. I go out to all of these flood disasters and I, it just breaks my heart to know that people aren't going to be able to recover very easily from that. Emergency management officials say homeowners and renters insurance only covers pipes that break inside your home. They say most insurance coverage won't cover flooding caused by storms, melting snow, or backup from overloaded drainage systems or broken water mains. Someone could get a policy for, say, like $40,000 if they're just worried about the basement or something, and that might be like $90 a year. State officials say don't plan on the government or FEMA to bail you out if a flood happens near you. FEMA may only give you $5,000. State officials say that one inch of the water that's flooded in your home can cause up to $26,000 in damage, and that's why they're pushing for Utahns to get flood insurance. In Salt Lake City, I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News.